All right, hey, what's up, Jesse? Side Wheels Fishing, y'all. And I'm back out on the water in my boat this time, as you see. And I have the new perspective mount on my homemade boat rotating mount system here that I have detailed in another video. And pretty much duplicated the mount that I put on my kayak. Have it set up right here. And we're getting ready to throw it in and do some testing today to see if I can use it to actually catch some fish. My setup here, of course, this is detachable. It mounts under here when I'm not using it. This whole system here and the unit that i have on here is a garmin 8610 xsb chart plotter which is their high-end chart plotter one thing i have learned about the live scope though is the image actually looks better on the lower end like echo maps with the lower resolution screens than they do on these because these have a uh, hd screens on them it's kind of like watching a standard definition tv program on a high definition tv it just looks bad still it's giving you the same data so we're going to throw it in rotate it down and fire it up record some footage and see if we can use it to maybe spot and catch some trout up in here so let's see what we can do all right y'all i've got the unit deployed i've got the arm rotated down it's lined up with the center element on the transducer this mark is aligned with the bracket that i've made i'm recording straight to my phone from the chart plotter i'm gonna try changing the settings here menu see what if i got it on i got the gain on medium try low maybe i yeah, let's stick the medium there. Always rejects on high. I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, that's terrible. Low. Definitely seem to like the noise rejection on high the best. TVG. See, I think I have it off. Yep. Just wanna turn it on. It really starts affecting the image, blacking out a lot of it. So I, I just leave TVG off. Appearance. Copper, got color green, it's the default. It's down, oh God, down is definitely a little better on the color gain. Station, focus, auto, auto salt, change that to salt water. Appearance, color scheme. Ugh. Night blue. Honestly, I've tried them all. I think amber looks the best. Or, I mean, not amber, copper. It's the one I prefer. Copper. All right, so I'm looking. Look at those fish swimming. That's off to the side of the boat. Over here. There we go. What is it? It is a baby trout. Well, there you go, y'all. It does help you find fish. I'm still seeing them back here behind the boat, pretty much. I know they're here. Swimming around just as plain. I know you're there. Come on, hit it. There you go, finally. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, that's a puppy drum. Check that out. So the sonar is spotting these fish. I thought it was trout, but evidently it's trout and puppy drum. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I'm letting them go anyway. All right, you guys, I moved to another spot here on this river and I have set up in this little shallow flat. I mean, at the deepest point is about two feet, maybe two and a half, three feet in the middle and it's low tide right now. And I'm scanning this flat off to me over here. Pulled up here, I was wondering if there was any fish threw this thing out and the sonar feed is just insane how many fish there are just in this little area right here now i'm sure a lot of these are probably uh, white perch maybe pinfish i do see some larger ones in here i did catch a trout in here just a little bit ago so i mean this thing is definitely showing the fish extremely well look at it the sonar is literally full of fish in this little area right here that is just insane just this little sweet right here and seeing it live like that that is just phenomenal you know this is the difference between the garmin and the hummingbird hummingbird has very nice stuff honestly i think their side scan and down scan is way ahead of garmin because garmin megahertz scanning it leaves a little bit to be desired but this live scope deal and this is light years ahead of the competition at this point. That is just an insane amount of fish, y'all. There we go. 
Aha, go. Okay. Look at that, y'all. Pulled up to this flat, threw the rig down. Was blown away by how many fish I saw. Immediately caught a puppy drum. That is so cool. Thank you, my friend. All right, folks, I want to do another recording here for you. Some more footage of the perspective mode in action. Basically, I have it on my pole here still with it angled up, which has reduced the angle of the transducer considerably to where it's almost flat. And I am shooting up onto a sand flat here, testing its ability to spot trout in super shallow water, which it has done superbly today. But I see there are some sitting out there right now, probably 60 feet out. Yep, see? I could see them fish. Plain as day. That's about a foot deep over there. A little school of them sitting there together. Toss right in the middle of them and boom, trout. Works like a champ, guys. I mean, I thought the live scope was already cheating. This just fixed the one downfall of it, which was it didn't work in really shallow water. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, folks, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to roll some footage that I have sonar recordings, basically, and I've sped these up five times normal speed. So you can kind of see the activity much quicker of basically what's going on here. And in this image, there's a bunch of bait fish that are being ambushed by predator fish, be it trout or redfish. And I sat in this particular area and I had a blast for several hours catching fish after fish. It, it was definitely an awesome day. Now I have to say that having the transducer mounted in a way that you can change the angle is critical because otherwise I would not have seen any of these fish. The stock set up with the 20 degrees of angle roughly that it has on it. It's pointing it down too far and it really doesn't work on the flats like this solution that I have here. At this instance, I pretty much had the transducer almost flat to the point to where you could see some of these surface ripples in the water at times in the image. I'm trying to come up with a second solution for mounting something that's adjustable with a linkage, but just the complexity of it with having to swivel the bracket to allow the forward and down image uh, modes plus and swiveling it down and getting it into perspective mode is uh, posing a bit of a design challenge for me so it's something I'm going to have to work on for a while but at least the swivel poles homemade swivel poles that I have it mounted on at this point are working and with the ram mounting the way I have it set up I'm actually able to change the angle of it just by tilting the pole so I'm just going to keep rocking it for now I did want to add as well that this was pretty much saltwater testing uh, all the species that are caught in this river pretty much are saltwater species. It's a little bit brackish where I was, but mostly salt. So the performance of the system still works very well in saltwater conditions. And I am looking forward to getting it out into the Chesapeake Bay and playing with it basically around the Bay Bridge and full saltwater conditions just to see you know, how it performs in deeper water. But I am very impressed with it at this point what it does in shallow water like i said earlier in the video pretty much fixed the biggest issue with the live scope was it you know anything under four or five feet it just didn't work and now it's working spectacular in those conditions if you have the transducer at the right angle so i'm just going to let this footage roll out through the rest of the video for you all to enjoy if you have any questions hit me up in the comments i'll be glad to answer them as best i can and once again if you're not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button man i appreciate it it would really help anyway peace out y'all have a good evening